Welcome to the Natural Medic Adventures. My name is Craig. I am your host. And this video this week, I want to show you some knots that every outdoor enthusiast needs to know. Came across this card here, and it's got two pieces of rope with it from my Boy Scout days, and thought it would be handy to utilize that to teach a few knots. Uts. Tying knots, yay! Let's get started. First knot, we're gonna do it just like the illustration. Of course, we're not gonna do all 40 knots on the card. I did count them, there actually are 40 knots. I was, I was interested in that. First knot we're gonna do, the overhand knot. So, the overhand knot is pretty simple. It is basically just a knot just like that. Now I've got it upside down from the picture, but you get the drift. And there we go. Turn it the right way. And the overhand knot's a building block of a lot of knots, but also it has to do with making a little stopper end in the end of the knot. That's what it's for. And that's how it works. Okay, simple. We're gonna try to run through these as fast as we can. If you like this video and you're getting value out of it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you're having trouble with any of these knots, feel free to rewind these. I'll have chapters set up so you can look at all of these knots individually and uh, practice your skill. The square knot basically involves two pieces of rope, which this little visual tying aid here has that right here for you. It's not really a secure knot for long term. But it was originally sailors' boats is where they came up with it. What they did is they used it to secure equipment loosely there on the deck of the ships. So left over right, right over left, and you've got a nice little loop there. Nice thing about the square knot, it's very easy to untie. Not a very super strong knot, but if you need to join two pieces of cord or rope together. It's a very easy one to do. Square knot. Impressive. I can make any kind of knot. Let's do the sheet bend located right here on the card. It is generally a knot that was used to join two pieces of rope together where one of the pieces of rope is bigger. In this particular case, we're just going to have to imagine that. And we're going to use that, these two pieces of rope that came with this little kit here. We have a bend in the rope. It's also called a bite sometimes. We're going to go up through the center of that bite. We're going to come around right here and go through the tail of this other knot. And then now we have a nice joined piece of rope. It's a little bit different than the, the square knot, as you can see, but it t tends to have a stronger hold. And like I said, it's usually used for a larger piece of rope joining a smaller piece of rope, but it can be used for the same size. Pretty easy to untie. Let's do a fisherman's knot. Not only useful for tying together two pieces of fishing line, if you had a lure on this line and you cut it off, and you wanted to tie another lure that had line on it already, just as an example, that would be easy to do. You're just going to cross these two lines over. You're going to make that overhand knot that I showed you earlier. It's basically just making a bend or a bite in the rope, cinching that down, and then doing the same thing on the other end. A little more slack here. You do the same thing on the other end. Pull it snug, then you pull the ropes together. Now you have joined your line. Like I said, it doesn't have to be with a fishing line. Two pieces of cord that you want to join up. Who are you? I'm all crack. Let's do what we call a bowline knot or a bowline. I've heard it called different things. 
I believe the name comes from sailors. They used to use it as a bow line years and years ago. You're going to make a loop in the rope like this. You're going to loop this around. Then you're going to bring that out, bring it back around, and go right there and make your loop. Makes a pretty sturdy loop there. You can see. Good for rescue situations. It's not really designed for mountaineering, but it is designed, those of you that might be in the EMS or fire service are probably familiar with this knot and maybe have used it before for a rescue. But it can be made very quickly as I just did and goes around something that forms a strong loop to, to pull it up. Could be a person, could be an object or whatever. Hmm. Rescue mission. Okay, for our next knot, let's do a half hitch. So for the half hitch, we're going to need, looks like this here. You place your rope under around your object, and then you're going to go up around, and then cinch it down, half hitch. Not a very strong knot, but it'll work. If you wanted to have something strong to bind to, in this case this is a hiking stick, let's say a tree, a pole, something, the two half hitches. Okay, so you're going to take it like this. You're going to go around. And you're going to go around again. And then bring your tail end right here through the center. Makes your two half hitches. You can pull that strong, cinch it down, and there it is. Not pretty, but it works. Let's get another look at it. Right there. Two half hitches. Any of these knots, feel free to rewind the video or go back to a certain chapter and watch it again if you're not quite getting it. Another good one that you can do, same kind of concept, is called the taut line hitch. Looks like this right here. Now in this case, if you had a Let's say you had a staked line, like a guy line, or something that you wanted to attach to a tarp, or to a tent fly, or a hammock, or whatever. Something you wanted to keep tight. Use a taut line hitch. You're going to take it right here, around your object. In this case, we don't have an eyelet we're going through, but we're going to go around the bend once around the bend twice and we're going to go up here and we're going to make this go right there. Let me dress it up a little bit. Now what you can do is you can adjust that out as much as you need to make the line tighter. Hard to do <laughs> with limited camera space here but you get the idea right there. Name a knot, any knot, go ahead. Those are some quick knots that I wanted to show you and hopefully those are helpful to you. If they were helpful, give me a thumbs up on the video. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and kick that bell notification to let me know that you want to see more videos like this and know when I have released them. Thanks so much for watching. Are there more knots that you would like to learn about? Leave me a comment below 